and welcome to a DIY video where we will be taking a look on how you can get your own laptop, in this example a Lenovo ThinkPad X230 having a Type-C charging connector. All of this starting from your normal barrel connector that we have just here and we will be using an adapter board for Type-C power delivery that is easily available on the internet for just a few bucks. For this particular example we are using the board named ZYPDS from YZX. It's an absolutely amazing board and it's able to deliver 20 volts or uh, 5 volts on the output. Why would you want to do this modification to your laptop? Well, first and foremost, you would like to probably leave behind such a, a big charger and carry with you something rather smaller with a common cable nowadays for mobile phones and other accessories. And the best of all is that you would be able as well to use power delivery um, power banks to power up your laptop. So over here I have a Xiaomi power bank that is able to deliver 45 watts on the output and that is good enough to charge my laptop. Bear in mind that you will need your power supplies to be able to provide you with a 20 volt output. Should you wish to charge your laptop with 45 watts, for example, then you will need to have a 20 volt output charging device, be it a power bank or a power supply, and that should be able to provide you with 2.25 amps. You can use a bigger one, you can use a smaller one. If you use a bigger one, then it's absolutely no problem. The power delivery board will only draw what it requires, but if you use a smaller one, try to make sure you have at least 1.5 amps because this laptop is drawing 30, 30 to 35 watts when it's um, in standby and charging. After changing the board, uh, the battery is charged in about one hour and a half. I do have a standard battery on it and I'm going to check for you right now which is the exact model. So. What I have now is a 5.13 amp battery. It's a 44 plus. So in case your laptop has the same battery, then uh, you will be able to charge it in about one hour and a half with this solution. So let's get on and see how we can do this. And please subscribe, like, and comment on this video. At the moment I have a prototype of the power delivery board uh, that I will be replacing now and I'm gonna do it step by step on the camera describing to you each one of the steps. First of all we have to take the motherboard out as uh, that's what we need in order to get to the power delivery uh, board or your original connector and as well in order to get to the connector that is on the motherboard which is on the bottom side here. Now I am removing the bracket which holds in place either your original connector, either in my case the prototype. Now what we're interested in is to flip it on the other side and disconnect in your case the original connector, in my case just the prototype port. Right. Now I'm gonna be transforming this into a better option because I have used a through hole resistor which takes too much space and it makes everything very 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 cramped so I'm gonna use an SMD resistor now
Now as everything is ready, I'm first going to take out this true hole resistor and I will replace it with a SMD resistor. As you can see, the size difference is huge. You can barely spot the resistor. The SMD resistor is a 0805 footprint and this is the true hole resistor. Let me zoom in a bit more. Okay, now you should see much better what is happening here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim down this cable and now I can cut a piece of it. Fairly small, probably three millimeters left, but it's just enough to be able to solder it to the new resistor. I'm gonna do the resistor soldering in such a way that you will be able to see it. Okay, now the resistor is soldered. The only thing left is to add some solder onto the free side of the resistor and then connect the IT cable to it. And this is pretty much all. This is how it looks now. What we will do now is we will take the board, we'll put it to some um, thermocontractible tube so it will have some isolation and then we'll try to fit this into the case. Now we're going to be measuring the resistance between the IT pin and the ground just to double check that uh, we have a good connection over there. So what we're looking at is we're looking to see if we can get the 10 kilo ohms value on the multimeter here. So we're going to measure between the ground and the ID pin cable. And yeah, that's the 10 kilo ohm value that we get right there. Now one detail that I have uh, forgot to mention earlier is that in your case, you will very likely have something like this uh, taken out of your laptop. So this will be your original connector. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you identify the ground pins, the VCC, so the plus pins, and the ID pin. Now it would be a good moment to test and see if this adapter that we've made is going to provide what we need. So I'm going to connect now a uh, power delivery power supply. Uh, this one has an output of up to 20 volts, 3.25 amps. I hope you'll be able to see that. And that means it's able to provide 65 watts. Now I'm going to connect this one power and I'm gonna connect our little board now and see if we can get 20 volts on the output. So we're connecting now the cable from the power supply. I'm gonna have to put something to hold it in place. Okay, that will do for the moment. And now we're gonna measure the output that we get. So we get a 19.7 volts, that's okay, it's in the range that we are interested to get. So now that we know that we have the voltage that we need, we'll proceed to install the adapter into the laptop case. As we know from earlier, um, in the laptop case there is not too much space. So this is the space that we are working with. It's not a lot of it, 
So we have to be careful and see how we can fit inside the adapter. So I'm going to try now to fit the adapter board into the hole of the previous uh, connector. It's slightly bigger. I'm going to try to fit it like so, just to come in the middle. Um, I don't have any skills to design 3D parts, so I'm going to do it with my old friend, the hot glue. Um, let's see how that goes. Okay, so what we have now is a pretty well fitted connector. So we have the Type-C connector over here. We have just a little bit of hot glue inside, but we'll be able to clear that off with a cutter later. And now we have to see how we can fit the board inside it. Now, before adding the battery inside, um, we're going to have to trim down the hot glue that we have on the charging connector. Okay, so as you can see, we have a little bit of hot glue over here. So we're going to trim that one down quickly. And that looks pretty good, I think. And now we're going to connect the battery to it. And the moment of truth. We'll have to check now if it's charging. Uh, in order to do that, I'm going to use a USB power meter and we'll see how that goes. Now we're going to connect the USB power meter over here. And it gives us a 5 volt output at the moment. And what we will be interested in is to see what do we get when we connect it to the laptop. It is. So we're now charging with 19 volts. 0 0.8 amps, 2.3 amps, 45 amps right now. See it right there? So it's quite good. Normally this laptop uses a 65 watt charger. Our charger is capable of 65 watts, but I am unsure why for the moment it's only pulling 45 watts. Um, the battery is quite low. So that can be a reason. As you can see over here, we have an amber LED flashing. And as a matter of fact, I know the battery was very low on this laptop before I started this procedure. So I'm going to let it get a full charge and I'm going to come back to you after that. So I hope you have enjoyed the modification and it will help you to uh, be more mobile with your beloved ThinkPad X230. Now I'm looking to uh, design a drop-in replacement for the standard power connector with this cable and connector attached to it directly. If you're interested in something like that please drop a comment below and let me know in case I get enough interest I will do this and I will contact uh, every one of you and let you know that it is now available and you will be able to order it. And on top of it, I'm going to make a video showing you how to install the drop-in adapter. Thank you very much.